first and foremost, risk stabilization. Our, uh, our biggest challenge with our workforce is our advancing age uh, and the fact that we're uh, ever progressing into greater and greater health risk categories. Second piece for us is the, the overall spend and how do we control the downstream costs of our health care spend. Um, we know that we want to look at primary care as a, as a way to help us with the risk stabilization, but most of our spend is happening downstream of primary care. So we need to be working on that. Um, and that takes us into the value of the health care spend and the idea that we want to see improving quality of care across the board regardless of where it's taking place. And at the same time, see increased efficiencies, reduced utilization, particularly inappropriate utilization, and reduced cost for the services we're getting. And we think there's about 30% waste in the system, uh, which means we can carve out, in theory, 30% at least of the utilization. The other place we look is in the return to work area. If we can get optimal results from the healthcare system when our folks need their help, getting them back to work with, at, with optimum recovery in the sh shortest and most appropriate amount of time, that's valuable to us as well. We've got a, a very active on-site wellness program. Um, you know, and, uh, about six years ago, we took a look and decided that we needed to get very serious about that um, and have been very aggressive in moving forward and trying to, to promote prevention uh, within the workplace, both with our employees as well as their families and, um, and folks out in the community. Um, with that, we're now working very hard to tie together the efforts we were doing inside uh, the business with our employees with the outside community and attempting to get the uh, primary care physicians and other prevention groups like the Healthy Main Partnerships, for example, to work with us on our efforts both internally and externally. Um, the other piece is taking an active le uh, leadership in the marketplace. So we're out working with other businesses in the community to try to fundamentally change what's happening in the healthcare marketplace. Uh, we're looking at efforts to pay differently for the care that we're receiving. We're looking at efforts to control costs through payment ref uh, different payment reform models. Um, we're looking at efficiency measurement that we will be looking to do public reporting on efficiency measurement that we would use in terms of internal relationships in the healthcare industry. And then I think looking to find direct partnerships with providers that are interested in helping us achieve our goals. Uh, and when we find those folks, figuring out how we can find those kind of win-win business relationships with providers as businesses. I think the other piece is strong negotiations with our carriers. So the, the, the vendors we're using to help us, whether it's a disability vendor or insurance carrier, working hard with them in negotiations to make sure that we have strong partnerships so that their efforts in the marketplace match our desires. In terms of what we're trying to do for our employees, uh, we're not pulling back because the, you know, the, regardless of what's happening economically, we're still aging as a workforce. Our risks still are where they are. The healthcare system still needs to have the fixes put in place to achieve our results, and pulling back from doing that isn't going to solve anything for us. We have a regular report card that we use. It's measuring uh, markers we've selected to, to uh, show whether or not we're making the kind of progress we're hoping to make. Um, things like preventive visits, um, on, information from on-site health screenings. We're looking at our risk curve and seeing our distribution and so on. We're looking at absences and actively managing those. And that's a regular conversation with our senior management. And that's also from at a, in a business unit level, but with the corporation, with G General Dynamics Corporation, they have an active integrated health management program where all of the business units are working together to learn from each other, keep informed across the board. We're also putting together what, what we'll call a health action strategy team, which is going to be a senior management and director level group of folks that are gonna be on top of what is it we're trying to accomplish, where are we taking this three and five years out, what are the barriers to trying to implement some of the things we're doing, and how can we break down those barriers as we move forward. We're a heavy manufacturing uh, business. Our guys work hard. They're down on their knees, welding, grinding steel, moving steel, uh, designing. It, it, it's hard work. 
and it wears on people over time. And so we know that we've got to help them maintain as healthy a lifestyle as possible so they have greater longevity and we have increased productivity. So we have guys who have 30 years in who know everything there is to know about building ships. Uh, but if their bodies are breaking down, it's very difficult for them to apply that knowledge. Anyway, so we've got to keep driving that health dividend to return on investment in turn with, a, with our customer, produce ships much more uh, efficiently over time, and continue being competitive out in the marketplace.